What's up guys? Custo Christopher VFX here. Today, got a little surprise for this guy. His head gonna go boom. Dude, I just got my arm back. Come on. All right, Andrew, you ready? Yes. What's up, guys? Custo Christopher VFX here, and today, uh, well, we're going so over some awesomely gory stuff, and you're going to see how I created the clip you saw just before this. <laughs> All right, so let's get right to it. So here is Tebby just, you know, doing his thing, right? Uh, let's zoom in just a little bit here. So I'm just going to go through frame by frame just so you can get a detailed description of what's going on here. So I'll zoom in quick. All right, so first, what I have here is this uh, tendon-like snapping. It's just like, you know, the head is being torn apart. So I created the little mask here and just ripped that apart. And um, right here, got just a blood splatter. Next, I've got his head kind of over here, some tendon-like stuff over here. And I got a bunch of blood effects right over the front. Next, we uh, start to can see a little bit of his head right there we start to see the actual head chunks uh, got some blood splatter in the background as you can see and we got a lot of this blood right here and then we have the chunks of head kind of bursting in all directions and you got the blood right here some action essentials some of it my stuff and the, these head chunks uh, you can find these on Custo Christopher VFX.com just go to the head explosions tab and you'll find stuff like this all right and then as we zoom in here we got a nice little gory texture right here. <laughs> uh, wow. So yeah, I uh, got this kind of gory little chopped off head. We got some spine showing, you know, just for that extra shock factor. Um, yeah, I know it's pretty messed up. <laughs> all right. So detail, detail, detail. It's all about detail and paying attention to that. So and as you can see, we got this blood splatter right here. We kind of cut it off right there because it looks weird if you just leave it. And then got some uh, blood splatter stuff right there. So I think that is basically, you know, just the overall gist of it. Now I'm going to go uh, deeper into the actual different parts of it. So basically, first off, we've got um, our layers here. So we've got this basic layer of just Andrew being him, doing his thing. And then I've got a clean slate. Very, very important to get this clean slate. So what I did is first I masked around his head. I masked this part of his head and then I got this little kind of crevice into his head because, you know, his head's getting blown up. Next, I uh, kind of took this layer here and just made his head kind of, well, fly apart and then disappear. But also got this thing which uh, is just kind of the neck. It was just basic kind of tracking, in my opinion, of where I wanted to put the gore texture over this. So as you can see, I just kind of keyframed the mask myself. Didn't do it with any tracker or anything. You could probably do stuff like this with Mocha, but I'm just keeping this as simple as I can because this is kind of an advanced tutorial. <laughs> Don't want to get it too advanced. So that's the basic part of that. So after I did... Um, just this basic masking kind of uh, head flying off. Oh, as you can also see, I did add a directional blur because, you know, his well head is flying apart, literally. So, we've now added the deep red solid. So, I just, you know, I went over this pretty roughly, just kind of put it behind his head so it just looks like the head is literally splitting apart and then kind of got this right here just left it and uh, then I have this part following the head and then it disappears and this right here is actually covered up by the blood so I just decided to leave it so that is the basic uh, like head animation that I did uh, manually and uh, as you can see back here I just, you know, did some quick uh, blood splatter, and just really quick. I actually did this at the end because I had to mask around this part. 
right here. So how I did this is I got a, just like a gore texture off of the internet and I masked around it and I did not want to make it clean. You do not want it to look like this because when your head gets shot off by a shotgun, it is not going to be a clean little circle. No. So make it like choppy, make it gross, make it gory. And over here, I kind of, uh, I had this kind of spine texture or uh, JPEG, whatever. And I just keyed out the uh, blue color I put behind it and put it on over this. So you can find, I don't know, spine texture stuff if you, online and just, you know, it just adds to that wow shock factor. So I masked around because the spine went down to about here. And I just masked around it so it just kind of pops out the top. And I just, you know, animated the mask and keyframed it so it follows this basic line, as you can see. And tried to make it look as realistic as possible. I also added, definitely did, you know, added a bunch of uh, color correction to this. You know, definitely some brightness and contrast because without it kind of looks too bright and I got this directional blur on it too because you know as he falls as you can see the actual body is a bit blurred so this is going to be blurred too so I basically just did that for both of these images all right so now I added the actual head explosion so you can find this as I said on my website kustochristophervfx.com and I just added a simple head explosion, and as you can see, all these chunks are flying everywhere. Pretty, pretty gross. And with this, uh, the way I have it, I, I made it, is so the gravity itself is pretty realistic. You're not going to have to keyframe too much to get this to look realistic. You kind of just plop it on, and then, you know, it's good from there. All right, and now I added the blood effects. So... This first blood effect is, well, my blood effect, and just some nice real flow blood. And you can also get stuff like this from my website. And I added some Action Essentials blood hits, as you can see here. That is purely Action Essentials. So with all of it, it just kind of looks like that. Now with the Action Essentials uh, blood hits, if you know what I'm talking about, they kind of just stay where they're at on the actual movie frame. So you are going to have to keyframe these so that they fall with gravity because, you know, floating blood, that's just kind of weird unless you're like in space, I guess. <laughs> all right. So as you can see, we have all the blood falling down. Really gross. I have these blood splatters I added in and I made sure to mask around the gore texture because this is technically in front of it. All right, and I think that about does it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I went over this very, very quickly. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave it in the comment section below. I will help you with whatever I can. If you have a question about this, I will probably be able to help. Also, be sure to check out my website, kustochristophervfx.com, because you can find, you know, really gory, cool stuff like this on there and be able to do head explosions of your own. Every single effect on my website is really cheap, so go check it out. It's going to be cool. All right, and make sure to check out my next tutorial. It's going to be the final tutorial in this six-part series, so I hope you guys enjoy. And please let me know how you like this video, and have a good rest of your day. Go explode some heads, guys.